In this video, let us see how to use the native SQL query update in a Spring Boot application. For this, already I have created an application. The domain model that we are going to work with is book. In pom.xml, I have added just two dependencies, Spring Data JPA and MySQL Connector J. And the Spring Boot version is 2.7.11. Now in iBook service, I have added a method update price by ID by passing the book ID and price. That is, I want to update the price of the book object by passing the ID. So this has to be the native SQL query that I want to implement in this particular application. So let us go and add the method in iBook repository. Let me add the same method. Since we are going to use native SQL query, let us use at query annotation with the two attributes value and native query equal to true. In value, let us pass the proper update query. Update book set cost equal to question mark 2 where book underscore id equal to question mark 1. Why am I using cost? Because in the book class, for the property price, we are giving the column name as cost. And in case of book ID, since it is in camel case, automatically when it is getting converted into a column, the column name will be book underscore ID. So this is the SQL query. When we want to perform the DML operations with the database, then we were using the inbuilt methods of the JPA repository. Say for example, if we want to insert or update few rows in the database table, then we were using the save method. If we want to delete, then we can use the delete by id method of the JPA repository. But now, in this case, I want to update the table by using a native SQL query. Since we are trying to modify the table in the backend, we need to use one other annotation to inform Spring Data JPA that we are modifying the table in the database. So add at modifying annotation. The next thing is, as we are using JPA repository, the transaction is handled declaratively by the implementation class of JPA repository. The implementation class for JPA repository is simple JPA repository. Here you can see the class itself is annotated with a transactional read only equal to true. It means Spring JPA repository is responsible for taking care of the transactions for each and every operation that we are performing. Here it is given read only equal to true. It means whenever you want to perform a select query, if you want to retrieve data from the database, the transaction will be taken care by this particular class. Then what about the DML operations like insert, update and delete. In that scenario, we are performing write operation. So in this class, a transactional annotation is also added above those methods. So let me show it to you. Let me search for the save method. Here you can see above the save method, they have just added a transactional annotation. This means it supports the declarative transaction management for both read and write operations. So this is save method. Similarly, it is done for delete method also. Let me search for delete method. The method that we use delete by ID by passing a transactional annotation. For all the delete methods, a transactional annotation is added. So this means simple JPA repository does declarative transaction management using a transactional annotation for all the methods that are performing CRUD operation. But in our case, we are trying to modify the table by giving our own native SQL query. It means we need to handle the transaction for this particular method. So go to book service IMPL. So this is the method. Above the method, add a transactional annotation. Here we are performing write operation. This is from Spring Framework within which let us call the method book repository dot update price by id by passing both the parameters. Now let me go to the main class. In the main class, I have already auto wired book service. Now let us call the method book service dot update price by id. Let me open my table. I want to update the price of the book with ID 53. So I need to pass 
the IDS 53 and the updated price. Let me also add the code to print the book object before updation and after updation. So for this I am going to call the method get by id book service dot get by id by passing 53 before updating. Let me print the book object. Same thing let me copy paste it. So this will print the book object after updation. Let me save this and run the application. We have got the output. Before updation, the price of the book object with ID 53 is 1500. We have updated it. Now the price has changed to 800. Let us check in the table also. Select star from book. The price is updated from 1500 to 800. That's all. Similar to this, you can also perform other DML operations like insert and delete without using the inbuilt methods of JPA repository.